Biggest misconception about you, Bob? About me? Yeah. I have no idea. I, I do know that the biggest mis misconception about Jerry was that he was some kind of guru. <laughs> or, uh, you know... Sven Gali. Uh, you know, some sort of, you know, half deity walking the earth. He was just a guy, he hated that right. so bad. Yeah. It, you know, it drove him around the bend, really. It, uh, he basically drove him to drugs because he, he, he couldn't walk the streets because people, you know, adoring people would uh, be on him all the time. Yeah. You know, trying to... Uh, trying to pull from him pearls of wisdom and stuff like that. He didn't have that to offer. He was a guitar player, singer. Yeah, well, Dylan has said the, the same thing just about yeah. But he's been able, I guess, to, I, I don't know if it's his persona. You never know who he is. Right. And, you know, in, in any interview, so he's been able to keep that mask up. Right. But he said something that you said about music. He said, I'm just a conduit for what is right. channeled through me. I, you know, don't look at me to me for the answers. And you guys never, ever proselytized with your music politically. You just, you know, you were like, everyone enjoyed the experience. We just tried to, you know, what we did was we cultured an ability to step aside from ourselves and, and let the stuff come through. Um, you know, the way I do it is, uh, you know, there's a character that lives in the song. He's telling his story. And uh, my job is to step aside and let the guy tell his story. And uh, you know, that's... Same thing with Dylan, I'm, I'm sure, same thing with, with Jerry. Um, you know, I may, look, I, I may look like me, but I'm not. Mm. What if all tomorrow brings is ashes and glass? And I can't tell you, child, it's too sharp
trap this too shall pass You those four horsemen 